attorney. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'm going to review our live trading day that we had today. Uh, this was the highlight for me. Uh, we had quite a few people in the room with a lot of experience, but this was a trade uh, that uh, one of the gentlemen posted, the, the Platonic Beetle. As you can see here, we've been talking about all day, the 382 retracement, and there it was, spot on, right at that level. And he gave this price to us when the market was up here. In other words, he anticipated the ABCD right to this level right here, and then it went up. On the day, we had five trades. We had three winners, $100 loser, and one break-even trade. And uh, <laughs> I have to show you that one, folks, because you talk about somebody that messed everybody up. It was me. Hold on one second. We'll get up here. It was in the natural gas. It was our starting trade. And you're, some of you are familiar with that, but at least you can see some of this short-term stuff works well, just like some types. The other does. Let's get the uh, natural gas starts with an N, doesn't it, uh, Larry? You used to, anyway. And there it is. That's copper. Let's go to natural gas, which is right next to it. There it is right there. Get this up here, and you'll be able to see what we were looking at. There's a trade. Boy, oh, boy, it turned out to be a big one. Anyway, this was the area we were looking at right here. Now, this is just the eight minute, but if you looked at the hourly chart, this is where the real trade started right up in here. It had a beautiful ABCD pattern up into this level uh, right here. And I'll, I'll show you there. You can see the longer term ABCD all locked up. It's just everything you could ask for. There's your head and shoulders pattern, perfectly symmetrical. Left shoulder, right shoulder, same price. Time between head, shoulder, head, shoulder. Right on the money, ABCD right here at 4080. The high today was 4080, 24080 to the exact tick. Now here's where we were, and I'll just move down to the smaller time frame because what happened? We had this really good break right in here, okay? And so I said, well, let's be safe and uh, you know lock in some profit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, we locked in some profit, but we got filled right there. And I and that I said when it was happening, I said, "Oh my God!" I said, "This is a mistake." I said, "I got the stop setting right exactly at the 618." And anyway, we made pretty good money. But anyway, look at the move down. You can see it just kept going lower and lower. And as we followed it down, you'll see that it followed it down in the usual way. You know, almost exactly 382 again. Look at this. Misses it by one tick. And then this is misses it by one tick, and it just keeps going lower and lower and lower, which would have been a well over a thousand dollar winner. But uh, no, you know, sometimes it's chicken salad, sometimes it's something else, and you don't really know what uh, what it's going to be, do you? But that's what we one of the ones that we're doing. And here is one that we also did that was very exciting. Now you'll you'll see still see the numbers in here, because this was early in the morning, and I said what we want to do is we want to wait until the early morning buzz is finished. So there was the early morning, and we had this really nice ABCD pattern right here at 14.50, at 140.45. It came all the way down here, dropped 100 points, and I said, well, you got to put your stop at break-even because this was our break-even trade, and we got stopped out right here, and then we assumed that market was going to go higher, at least to this level here. At 1583, and we move it over. Let's uh, did it sell off a little bit today? No, 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 no. It just sold off a little bit. We were looking for it to come into 1583, and the high was uh, 1569. It missed it by 10 points, and then it started to back off. And this is where we are uh, right now. So there was a lot of volatility in a lot of these things, but they were acting nicely. And that's what you're really looking for is when you're finding something like that out that it gives you some pretty good ones. Now, we were also watching the crude oil. We missed the crude oil because we uh, were doing something else. But this was the, the real beauty of this one here. You'll see this was the 
the 13 um, 13 minute chart that we were looking at because we were watching these different things unfold because if you'll remember what we talked about earlier in the day when first came on you'll see that there was the uh, 382 coming in right here and we said that if this fails for, by just a little bit we're going to be heading down and that's exactly what happened but the real that ended up being uh, we didn't get filled so we didn't do anything but look what I missed on this folks if I did the hourly trade look at this this is the one that drove me nuts to the high we made back here on the 27th of August okay the high exactly 382 here at 70 it's a $1200 move and we didn't get that because we were I was doing too many things but there was a perfect 382 exact amundo right on the old level just where it should have been and now what we need to do since we got this long we've got a weekend coming up here we want to get ready we know this was a pretty good bottom down in here if you remember from the daily folks we were bullish all week long there was the uh, daily hold on just a second right here Let's refresh the whole week uh, there's where we became bullish right down here that was the big ABCD right there and we had a nice rally like look, look at that rally exactly to the 382 and I missed it shut the front door and raise the rent I should lose my license well I got five licenses but none of them relate to this so anyway that's what we were watching uh, uh, in the crude oil uh, and also uh, we had another trade that worked uh, relatively well in uh, hold on one second I'm trying to think we did what the natural gas and crude oil and me I'm trying to think of the other two uh, been started since 4:30 this morning, folks. So I'm I'm a little sly on the uh, the thing, but there's one here that you've got to pay real close attention to if you're a silver aficionado. Okay, this is silver on a four minute. But what you want to do now is you want to look silver at the daily. Okay, okay. Now watch. I have to refresh this. It will only take me a second. Okay, now. I will move this over just a little bit so you can see it, but there is a beautiful one, three. This, this is not the one. It is this one right here. Okay, and that's what we hit so far right on the money. The high on the day was 31.26. And the 1.27 point D was 31.23, five cents away. Very interesting what we have going on here, folks. Pay close attention because that is a valid. Now, if this thing closes really strong today, it's no good. But if it doesn't, then you're going to be doing pretty good. Hold on one second. I'll be with you one second here. Hold on one second. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm on the other show. Can you make it today or not? Okay, we'll see you. We'll see you about, uh, Thank you very much. Mike Moore is going to be on. So he'll be our break, our guest at the break here. And uh, let's stay. Let's take. Oh my God! First break already. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this is the monthly chart of the actual gold. I posted the one of the ETF, the spider. Uh, of course, you know, we just reached that objective in that one. This is the spot gold rolling over, of course. Now, back here, if you remember, when we were back here at $2, $260 a share, <laughs> let's try that again. It's 2003. We were 260 I believe, and Mike... Um, Tom O'Brien came out with a roaring buy signal in gold, and uh, he's been known as the gold king ever since, and we had this big move. But this is what I want to show you right here, folks, because if you go back and just look at these things, it'll give you a really good idea. Stretch this out a little bit, and we'll blow this up a little bit and get this out of the way a little bit so we can see why this was so very, very important. Here was your low right down in here. They're 230 an ounce, okay? Now, the market rallied for quite a ways. It got all the way up to brand new highs, over $1,000 an ounce, 1100 exactly, over those three or four years. But then the market had a really strong correction during 2008 and 2009. And if you drew the low to the high and put it in, you'll see where did it stop? Right there within $50 of the exact 382 retracement. Unbelievable, isn't it? But that's not the end of the story let's just blow it up a little bit more and just show you now this is a monthly chart boys and girls you can see here market starts up and makes another perfect 382 retracement right here this is what we were doing all day this morning it was just amazing there it is right there there's your three day there's your high of the move one point remember this is a monthly chart folks this is a 150 dollar break in gold okay and what does that do higher 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 and then all the way up all of these are 382 retracements. There's one right here. There's one right here. Uh, I don't think there's one right here. And then, of course, we reached the top here. This was an important top. I was in Hong Kong. This was in uh, August of uh, 2011, and gold was at 1900 And I said, we are probably going to drop in half. And I was on the uh, Hong Kong Stock Exchange, and I was also in the newspaper the uh, South China, South China Sea something or other, and they had a picture of this chart and also my picture, and that's where I said we're probably going to come down. Well, who really remembers four years later? There's where we were right there setting. You'll never guess at that point, right at the exact old highs right here. See the old highs that we had? 
touched it right here, 1030 per ounce, December of 2016. And since that time, history is in the making. So we got to pay really close attention to gold as we come in here to this coming week because it's completing a whole lot of different patterns. Probably go up to 10,000 an ounce, possibly don't really know. But again, maybe it won't either. So we're going to find out for sure. Okay, now let's move on. We had a question about one of the trades that I didn't put on that looked like a really good trade. And we remember we were trading short term and I, I missed a couple of these because that's just the way the, that you try to trade sometime. But here was one that was uh, set up just absolutely perfectly here this morning. There's where we were when we came out in cattle. This was the 382 right here. I said, well, I, we were doing other things. We had this gap in here like that. And I said, well, we didn't do it. But the market made well over $550. And then by then, you can see here, this is when, we, this is when the show ended. And then you can see what we do after that made nothing more than another a b equals c d it's just i'm sorry folks hold on that's a gan thing i never use there's your x there's your a there's your b there's your c and d and comes in almost exactly at the 61 percent retracement then rallies up a little bit another basic 400 dollars move and uh, now it's markets getting ready to close here in about a half an hour or so that was one that we missed. All the ones that we did, well, we did. We had three winners, one break even, one loser. And we had a nice day. I mean, it was not as spectacular as the one we had on the 23rd of uh, of, of August last one, when we we had a $1,500 profit in the uh, Dow Jones uh, trade, which was really nice. And of course, we had two break evens and two losses that day, but netted well over 1,400. Today wasn't quite that much, but it was still a good day. Okay, now let's move over here. And someone's asked a question about Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Let's get that thing here. Someday I'll tell the story behind that joke, but not today. This should be an up day in Apple, that's for sure. And it is. Apple's still trugging along to the upside. And then we've got a really good chart coming for you. You can see here, there's what Apple done here the last couple of days. This is just today's action, okay, Friday the 13th. Oh, my God. It's Treskai Decaphobia. The day of the uh, Knights Templars. Okay, that was the end of the Knights Templar. There was your 382 pullback in here, all short term, but on the daily, still looking, you know, quite strong as we're moving higher. Not as high as we were here, but it's still, what is this thing doing in here? It's all, that's not done. Let me get rid of it because it's not set properly. Okay, that's this. Now let's take a Tesla because we had a very interesting chart on Tesla today. And we'll show the folks here. And there it is. Let's get this hourly chart up. And Tesla's still heading towards 245, folks. That's a number that we felt really strongly about. We'll just get rid of all this other stuff that's in here so we can look at it without any uh, distractions. Stick with the thing we know, which is AB equals CD. Here's where we are. As you can see here, we had a beautiful pattern right here. A, B, C, D, right to the absolute spot that you were looking at. It took four or five days, actually eight days to make it. And there it was right at the 50% level. That tells us that there's a strong probability that we're going to be seeing Tesla up here at around 245 to 250 very shortly. Because right behind that one, we've got another one. And that's going to make it a three drive. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three, and there's the magic number, 245 to 249. You say 248. That's where it should get to uh, here. It's uh, 20. That's what, 20 bucks. It can move $20 very quickly. So watch that closely for two reasons. One of the fact that it's a 61% retracement of the big swing back here, as you can see. Let's just draw that out so we can. It's actually at the 78% level, as I recall. From your high, yes, it is. See, there's your, your 78 retracement comes in there at 251. The ABCDs all come together, 249. So it's going to be this area where where the Tesla should have some difficulty. Now, may like we say, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But you know, that's what we were that's what we were looking for is something like that. But with all in all, it was a fun day. It went very very fast. It's almost it's almost like a blink of an eye. 
and uh, really makes it great. Our guest today is Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and given the action that we've had in uh, gasoline, uh, crude oil, heating oil, all that stuff, and the uh, stock market, I know he's going to have some really great stuff for us, so be sure that you uh, stay tuned and listen to our good friend uh, Mike Moore when he comes on. We have another 43 seconds here, and I did want to mention the uh, price that we missed a beautiful, absolute home run trade in the soybean market by just a heartbeat, but that's the way it goes. You'll get up here and you'll see what it looks like, but that's uh, what we're watching. We just look the selling up in there. There was your 382, bada bing, bada boom. Gotta love it. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Uh, I, I think we're okay. Just uh, let's get it. To, try to get in there and do it now if you can, Mike. Okay. You you call you call Skype them. Okay. Uh, and call with them. Hello. Hello. Hey, Larry, how are you? Hey, Mike. I don't know what's going on, buddy. Um, I get to see you face to face today. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Why don't you go ahead and show us what you've got, and then we'll worry about it. I think we're up and running. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure of it, but it looks like we are. But if you'll show the charts, we should be. Uh, I'm all tangled up here in my. Can you see my screen? Yep, we're looking good here. Okay. More analytics. How come your uh, name is spelled M O O R instead of like the usual way? Was there a reasoning for that? Your your uh... just just excess baggage, man. You don't pronounce the E anyway. No, I'm kidding. I have no idea why. It's spelled <laughs> uh, yeah, with a name like Pesavento, I have to go through that all the time. So fire away, my friend. Uh, okay, so you want to start off with the crude or the natural, or let's do let's do crude oil, and we had a really good trade in natural gas today, and let's also take a look at the um, um, crude oil, natural gas, and heating oil for sure, and then we're going to do gold, and also the um, stock market. Okay, so fire away. Crude oil obviously right now is rolling over a little bit here. The uh... I just turned uh, bullish down here, and we broke above this line right here, so it said. Uh... Well, let me just do a little bit of back up here. So the trade below 80.82, I brought in $15.55 of pressure. We got a number of other bearish formations above that I won't get into. And then more recently, the trade above 67.36, put this above a minor steep formation that projects us upward to $1.75 minimum. We detained 261 of that so far. And then we also broke above this uh, other formation right here, saw some strength. But I said, if we fail back down through this decently, you should see pressure that line is going to come in at 6878 plus 1.5 per hour starting at one o'clock p.m uh eastern standard time i will just say in preparation for this podcast i'm just going to skip over to gas oil one second sure and this is how watching the whole complex can help you trade other parts of the complex because sometimes they give you a heads up earlier than the the instrument that you're looking in but you can see here that the gas oil had a similar formation that it broke below. So I said, if it broke below, you're decently look for decent pressure. So I, I expect pressure to come in here for the rest of the day, which means going back to the crude oil, since it's sitting on that line, I think it's got a, a higher likelihood it's going to break below it and keep coming off. So okay. we'll have to see what that means. Now, if we do rally and we take out this formation above, you know, today or Monday or whatever, that's going to come in at 72.40. Two plus 0.2 of a tick per hour starting at uh, 1 o'clock p.m. If we break above that, that'll open up the upside for another run for at least a couple dollars up to this upper formation. And then if I'm on whatever next week, we can talk about that. But that's a sizable bullish formation. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to talk, look at the R, Bob, real quick? Or? Uh, yes, please. Absolutely. Don't miss any of them because you've got some great stuff. They want to see it. Okay. The R, Bob. All of them's kind of a pretty uh, similar situation. We were bearish from a lot of different levels. I won't get into all that here, but the trade above 188.44, I said now warrants a higher trade. We'd seen 7.62 cents coming into this morning, and uh, then we made this peak here a little bit higher here, trading up to 197.17, and then we started to roll over here. We were to come back down and take these lines out decently. Those would warrant a renewed pressure. Or a gap open lower on Monday. The heating oil is having an inside day here so far. This as well, I won't go over all the bearish formations that are on hold, but the trade above 208.89 projects this upward five cents plus. We'd already attained 5.79 going into this morning. So that was pretty much attained, but it has a plus. You could see more. But this also is rolling over. Now I don't have a similar formation in there like I do in the gas oil. But the heating oil and the gas oil are very closely tied. So that's probably, you know, that, that gives you an idea why we're seeing this sell off here as well. Now, if we look at a Brent, 
Brent, we got bullish from the break above this formation right here. Trade above 71.25, uh, projected this up for $2.10. We saw $1.82 coming into this morning, and then we got up to 73.24 from 71.25. So um, $1.99, a little bit shy of the 210, and it's rolling over. Now, this is sitting right on this line, which I said if we get to get short below there, if we break below there decently, that's going to come in at 71.79 plus one per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the gas oil we already looked at. You want to jump to the natural gas? Yes, sir. We hit, we hit them pretty good in natural gas today. We sold that high, which up at 240 was pretty nice. Oh, sweet. So, yep. yeah, we had some good uh, exhaustion low, um, resistance levels up there. Let me see what we have. I'm sorry. I'm here. So the natural... Uh, we got bullish when it broke this level right in here. Sorry, let me pull that back up. So we held, exa uh, held exhaustion with a 188.20 low and rallied 512 ticks into a bullish correction or trend. That was from much lower. And then the trade above 218.20 here. So we broke above multiple lines here, with all which were bullish. And most recently, we just took this more formidable formation out which I said projects this upward 90 ticks minimum, 460 ticks plus maximum from 231.70. We traded up to 240.70 um, today, and we rolled back over. Now, if we fell back down through this line decently, I'd be out of all longs and short and looking for this to continue to come off. This okay. line is going to come in at uh, 231.10. Mm -hmm. minus 0.3 of a tick per hour uh, starting at 1 o'clock p.m. And if we see a further break below this formation, that will also warn a pressure. That's going to come in at... Okay. we got to take a little break here, Mike. Would you come back and we do Brent also? Sure. I have a request for that. Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. Stay tuned. Uh, I did Brent already, buddy. We'll be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. 
For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. back folks with mike moore more analytics please continue young man how are you larry can you see my screen oh perfect yeah it's coming i, I like the uh brent already quickly you want me to go over it again uh you know i i didn't mean i meant heating oil is what i meant i'm sorry i meant yes. to say heating oil i i knew we looked at brent no it's he i, I i've been going strong since about 3 30 this morning so i'm a little tired it's Not right. that that's an excuse i went over the heat also actually i just went over it quickly you gotta be kidding me I, Oh, and I, listen, must, uh, <laughs> I understand uh, completely. Let's just I, go over the heat again. Anyway, so the heat yeah. here, I said the trade above 208.89 projects a separate five cents plus. We had attained 579 coming into today, and now this is rolling over. I didn't have a similar formation here than I had in the gas oil, but that mm -hmm. this is coming off similar to, to, to the other one. If we were to fail back down through this lower level here, that's going to warrant a decent pressure. That comes in at 205.31. Minus 10 per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Very good. You want me to, all right, so we were, all right, we already went over the natural gas. So you want to jump to the S&P? Let's do the S&P. Everybody likes the S&P. Sounds good. Especially the bulls. So the S&P, you, you guys have been watching the show for a while, so you've seen some of the calls we've been making from the lows here. I said that, um, a warrant of exhaustion at 54.12.50 to 53.94.75. We held that with a 53.94 even low. That was holding this level right here, bounced up. We also took out a bullish formation here, started to rally. I did not call this bullish formation. Uh, yeah. This was drawn later in the day. I just It couldn't be drawn earlier. Anyway, so we've been rallying higher. Now we're just breaking above this, uh, a very significant formation here. And that formation comes in at, 56, 23, 76, minus 10 per hour, starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Now, a decent break above there is going to project this up for 240 minimum, 570 wow. plus. Yeah, maximum. I see that. 5,900, is that what you're looking at? Yeah, if, uh, 59, it's, uh, it comes in at, sorry, it comes in at 56, 23, 76. Oh, you're saying as a target up there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, whatever those adding that onto this is. Now, if and a decent break today just happens to be 42.75. If we were to break above there decently and back down through it decently, I'd be out of all longs, short, and looking for this to come off for days. And uh, if we see that kind of a failure, this could roll right back down into these levels uh, down in the 54, 20s, and, and lower. Wow. You want to take a look at the gold? Yes, sir. And everybody loves the gold. So the gold, we broke above this formation a number of days ago. Let me get it back in here. We were chopping around here pretty good. And then we broke back above this line right here, rallied, came right down, almost hit the stop, but didn't quite get it, and then really took off. And then we also took out this upper formation, which has its own projections. So let me just dial you in on that. The trade back above. 25.37.50. So one's a renewed strength. We'd seen 63.5 of that coming into today. And then the trade above 25.45.40 projects this upward 17 minimum, 55 plus maximum. 
we detained 55.6 of that coming into today and obviously more than that. Is that again, a, is that, uh, Mike, is that a gap on the chart there? Is that a legitimate gap? Um, no. The far, the far right. That one, yeah. Oh, this may just this may just look like it because it's not uh, not wide enough. But no. Oh, okay, got, I got it. Yet. Okay, got it. Kind of hard to see when you're when you're looking yeah. at. Um, but obviously, we're at these major highs up here. Oh, I want to note one other thing. In the gold here, as some of you may recall, I said that the solid trade above twenty one forty seven fifty to twenty one forty eight forty projects this upward one hundred and fifty one minimum. 954 plus maximum. So we are 452.6 into that. Wow. Um, and on an overall basis, you guys have been watching this. The, the, old, the oldest people watching this know that I've been bullish since 816.18 from 1179.7. We've seen 1183.7. Uh, should be a 0.7 there, sorry, from there. You want to take a look at the uh, Bitcoin? <laughs> oh boy, do we ever! We have more. I had more questions about uh, answer, uh, asking questions about Bitcoin. So please talk to us right. about Bitcoin. All right. So this is the Bitcoin futures. Uh, the sure. trade above fifty six one sixty five minus thirty six per hour projected this upward two thousand plus. We detained two thousand five hundred ninety of that coming into today, and then obviously another piece right here trading up to sixty oh eight five. If and also, if this breaks back above this formation here, that's going to open up the upside even more. That comes in at 61,761 plus 12 per hour, starting at one o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If this rolls over and takes out this formation below, <clears throat> which is going to come in at 57,975 plus 45 per hour, starting at one o'clock p.m. That will warn of decent pressure, um, probably to the tune of at least 2,000. And likewise, if we break below there decently and back to, back up through it decently, that'll warn of renewed strength again. Wow. Uh, Mike, can I ask you a question? Yeah. The chart you're showing there, Bitcoin, could you email that to me, please? Sure. Just Larry at tradingtutor.com. I, I really like, I'm, I'm going to do some work on that. And I, I appreciate it if you'd send it because I don't really follow that stuff. I, I hear about it from other people, but I don't follow it too much. Okay. All I'm, all I'm interested in is from that, the big high down to that low. That's what I'm into from there. That's what I'm interested in that whole okay. part of the chart. Okay. Thank you. Interesting. Anybody have any questions while we get time? Uh, I think you did a pretty good job. I think there was one other question about something that we don't. Do you follow the Treasury bonds very much? I don't. I, no, that's right. That you didn't do that. But the, I we used did have. To. Yeah, well, they're, they're they're a crazy market as it is anyway. They're all crazy nowadays with the swings that we're having, seeing the Dow Jones moving a thousand points at a time. <laughs> yeah. It's really uh, really quite amazing. But listen, thanks for joining us. And I really appreciate your work. It's splendid, and keep it up because you're doing a great job. Um, you, and the folks want to reach you at More Analytics. What's the best way to do it, Mike? Oh yeah, let me pull that up here. So they can reach me here at MoreAnalytics.com. And uh, you know, if you want to give me a call, if you're interested in a free trial of the analysis, uh, you know, this stuff that I'm always showing here, it comes out every morning. Uh, before the markets open, and then I send out a video podcast to my clients every afternoon, so you have oh, both very good, yeah. book, book ending the day. So pretty good. Powerful. Good. And well, a lot of explanations yeah. on how to use it, obviously, <laughs> instead of just being out of some people. So. We're like the restaurant business; you're only as good as your last meal, Mike. We know that. Hey, thanks for joining us, buddy. We appreciate it, and be safe over there, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, we'll be right, right back, folks. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. 
Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, this is my guess. This is the May high. This is the July high, and we got another high coming in here soon. Yesterday, or two days ago, when we went down and made that number at uh, 40,000 in the Dow, there it is right there. I sent an email out ahead of time, video, the whole bit says, you don't want to be short here. And there's where we are. Now, if you're going to look at this on the daily, I really think this is where we're going to go. And it's going to be a whiz, bang, doozy. It's going to be a three drive to set all three drives in motion. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three coming in right here. I'm going to put it over that date right there, Bubba. Put it in right there. And that's it. Uh, 4,000, 4,200, another 1,700 points up in the Dow. And we could get there very easily. And that's where it's going to be. Wherever this top is, coming in next week on the 17th, which is the day the Fed meets. And get ready because they're going to rock and roll that day. We have a lunar eclipse. And we also have a perigee where the Earth is close to the moon that it gets. So... This is what we want to be watching. Cannot be bearish after action like this, folks. Such positive action. And all the way up, it's just been one-way Corrigan. We've had a few 382s in here. Here's one we had today. Here, look at this. Look at this wild swing that we had today. This was our early morning low right here. Okay, then we had the big move up. And where do you think the market stopped on the way down? Hello, operator. Right there at the old 382. And has rallied 200 Dow points. Folks, these markets are very predictable if you spend a little time, but live every day in an attitude of gratitude 
and may God bless and try to do something nice for your neighbors because everybody out there needs help, including me. And say a few prayers for us, folks, because we got a lot of things happening in the family that are great, and we're hoping that they will be even greater. <laughs>